Hello and welcome to watch my next video. This video is about fuel consumption. I have done similar test already few months ago. Uh, only then it was about 20 degrees uh, colder than it is today. So it was about zero Celsius degrees by then. And now today it is a little bit above 20 degrees. So I'm interested to see that what uh, kind of impact this outside weather temperature does have to the fuel con consumption. I believe that it does have an impact, but how much that that's the interesting part. And now I will drive exactly the same route than I did a few months ago. And we will see that uh, what the fuel, fuel con consumption will be. constantly between so there is a new speed limit saying 50 kilometers per hour of course um, slower we go better the fuel consumption will be too so actually I chose this road basically because um, we can drive rather slow here so the goal for this test is to get the uh, lowest possible fuel consumption figures but in, in real uh, real uh, life traffic so the total distance I'm driving today will be somewhere around 65 kilometers so I'm actually driving a good amount of kilometers and distance today but uh, and already I have done half of that and the fuel cons consumption is is quite low already but yeah let's drive a little bit more and let's see how things are progressing so by the way uh, in the beginning of this video I mentioned this uh, cruising range and meter showed 410 kilometers at that moment and now after 44 kilometers I have so the distance I have been in so far is 44 kilometers and now the, the cruising range is 550 kilometers so it has been increased from the initial figure and the reason for that is that um, why it showed me only uh, 410 kilometers at that moment was that I have fueled up this car a few days ago and I did drive only short distance driving uh, those couple days so that uh, 
kind of confused uh, car to think that the cruising range will be lower than it is actually. And now when I'm driving this um, road where, where the fuel consumption is uh, quite good, at the moment it shows me 5.0 liters per 100 km, so it recalculates that cruising range. And, uh, now it thinks that uh, it will be something uh, below 600 kilometers. Okay, the total or the final fuel consumption figure seems to be 4.9 uh, liters per 100 kilometers, and the driving distance is now 5. 190 kilometers so very nice numbers I would say and now it would be also interesting for you to check the what was the actual the difference to the uh, earlier test I mentioned so the impact is really high I mean the impact with the outside weather is really high so uh, that test I did a few months ago the difference seems to be quite huge so I really recommend it to also you to watch the first part of this this test and what type of well consumption figures I got got then when I tested this same route as today thank you for watching this video Thank you.